Taurus. It's Nicola. Whoop, I'm going to knock that down. So let's see. This is for December the 1st through the 8th. Might be moving a tad bit fast in this because I do got to get these readings out today. So let's see what we have. This is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, December the 1st through the 8th. What messages do we have for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, December the 1st through the 8th. Messages for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, December the 1st through the 8th. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got. Get these clarity cards out of the way. Hmm. Okay, so there could be a new love interest for you guys, um, for us, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, someone that you've attracted, someone may have freed themselves from some type of deception, may not be freeing themselves emotionally, but you've attracted someone or something. There's a new love interest here. As the underlying energy, it says new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and this can be a new person or here. This can be past life or past here. There may be a need for you to let go of some control issues with the situation, allow it to unfold naturally, however it may. With the reconciliation here, it does say someone from your past is returning to your life. So you may have attracted in a past lover that has a new attitude. Let's see. I think that's going to be a name because it just stuck with me. All right. So we got reconciliation here. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. Why is reconciliation? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Someone making, um, really carefully considering um, a decision. Being decisive. You are being decisive. You're nurturing yourself, following your intuition. This could be a, a missed opportunity, something that you may have prayed for um, to move forward, something that could have been in stagnation. Y'all, if y'all see me scratching, I don't know how, but we got mosquitoes all through southern Mississippi right now. Like, there was a big one about this big on my arm. I was like, it's cold. What the fuck? It ain't supposed to be right now. I don't think. I don't know. But... It sucks. And my door was open all day long, and I didn't even realize it until tonight that they were out. Usually when they out, all everything's closed because I ain't mosquitoes in Mississippi ain't no fucking joke. Southern Mississippi, oh goodness gracious. So anyway, you may have attracted in a soulmate, um, a past life. This is maybe past life for some of you guys. This is a new opportunity for a relationship, for emotional fulfillment. You're just having the courage to actually move toward that. Um, I don't, I don't know if some of you guys because. Some of you guys may be controlling what you extend your energy out to, and that may kind of cut this situation out as well. That's why I think you may need to look past. I don't know. You guys know what you want to do. This is a new love, though, and this is something that you have attracted in. So a lot of us, because I've been getting in multiple exes as well, this you have to be the deciding factor on whether or not you'll allow this cycle into your life or not. But there is a new person here. So with this person... On their end, they may feel like that they're, you're not being open, that you need to free yourself. I believe they feel like that you have too many control issues. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> so why is deception here? Yeah, they feel like you're very I. So they may be wanting to communicate with you or trying to communicate with you, but you're very much snappy at them. Um they have a lot of anxiety that maybe they'll miss this opportunity. They don't want something to change. They want to release the burdens. They want to let go of all the burdens within the situation. So this is definitely an ex that wants you to free yourself and kind of let your guard down a little bit. But you have to be the deciding factor on what to do with that because you're independent. They may be independent too. With free yourself, it says it's time to take back control. So either they need to free themselves from a situation, free themselves from heartache, sorrow, challenges, delays. They may be in a, a a bind. This may be Capricorn energy as well. They may be needing to heal so they can 
move forward so you've attracted in a soulmate there's some type of reconciliation your partner may be in healing they may not be all the way honest with you about what they feel or how they feel or even how deep they feel but there may be some small communication um, from this person there is deception here so there's something that isn't being said they may feel like um, they may need to make a decision to put an end to some burdens and that may be what's not being said they may feel oppressed within something yeah, they got they do feel oppressed either by their emotions, by not speaking their emotions or in an actual situation. So we got let go of control issues here. It says allow hmm, conflicts, allow the situation to unfold naturally. <laughs> so <laughs> they may you may withdraw from them. This is how you're controlling the situation. You're going within yourself. They may present it, be presenting themselves to you, offering you something you feel like is not enough. So you're going within yourself. Um, and you're basically saying, look, you've known, you know me. Even if this is a past life, you know me. You know I'm not going to go for that. You have to come with more. So you may retreat because you understand your value. You understand your emotions. They, you, they may not understand theirs. Or it may be a conflict about emotions. A conflict. This is still conflict about emotions, conflict about someone new. You may be conflicted by this situation, trying to see if you should move forward, searching for. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're going to get kind of obsessive trying to figure out whether or not you should move forward within this situation or not. Let go of control issues and just free yourself. For others of you, this person needs to let go of control issues or you feel like they need to let go of control issues because it's causing conflicts and it's causing a resistance. You may resist. That may be the control. So we got past life relationship here. It says you've known each other before. Why is past life relationship here? Yeah, you guys have known each other before, but this is um, clarity, a second chance. If not a second chance, there's an end to some impulsive uh, energies within a situation, and there may be clarity. Someone may be clear about their intentions moving forward putting an end to anything that has happened in the past someone's trying to put an end to past betrayals and and change things within the situation there may be, may be an opportunity to move forward but like i'm telling you you got to be discerning if this is what if what you've you've attracted in you have to be discerning if you've attracted in the right type of energy because like I said this person is still going through healing there's still some heartache heartbreak this person is going through there's a lot of burdens that this person needs to release a lot of worries so let's see what guidance we have what guidance do we have for Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus December the 1st through the 8th messages for Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus December the 1st through the 8th about discernment i'm telling y'all <laughs> with discernment it says you're developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion so you may be releasing this particular situation freeing yourself from this or you may have freed yourself in a lot and distinguished whether or not you need to i'm not sure for it's it's up in the air some of you guys are releasing this person you're releasing this person. It says you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universes. Or you have released this per this person, but now you're being discerning about this situation. I am getting peacefulness. It says recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. And with harmony, you want everything to be balanced. So I believe if this situation, you're going to be discerning. If this situation is not balanced, you're going to remove yourself. You're going to free yourself. This is all I have, or this could be vice versa. This is all I have, Taurus. Peace.